and perhaps in all of New York. In Brooklyn and perhaps in all of New York. We're standing in front of the Atlantic Terminal Mall. We're standing in front of the Atlantic Terminal Mall. The Atlantic Center Mall. The Atlantic Center Mall. The Barclays Center Arena. The Barclays Center Arena. This is Bruce Radner's Monopoly. The largest project in Brooklyn's history. Using eminent domain. Using eminent domain. Hundreds and hundreds of millions of public subsidies. Hundreds and hundreds of millions of public subsidies. MTA sweetheart deals. MTA sweetheart deals. Free public streets. Free public streets. Was all given to Forest City Ratner. Was all given to Forest City Ratner. Without a single vote by a single elected official. Bruce Ratner. Bruce Ratner. Could not. Could not. Have taken. Have taken. The land. The land. Without. Without. The aid and assistance. The aid and assistance. Of the courts. Of the courts. Of the courts. Albie Square Mall. Albie Square Mall. Which served generations of Brooklynites. Which served generations of Brooklynites. As a shopping center. As a shopping center. And the place to be. And the place to be. In 2001. In 2001. This mall was sold by Bruce Ratner. This mall was sold by Bruce Ratner. To another developer named Joe Sitt. To another developer named Joe Sitt. Joe Sitt is a professional speculator. Joe Sitt is a professional speculator. But he bought this property for $20 million. He bought this property for $20 million. And sold it for $120 million. And sold it for $120 million. It was the city that allowed the city that allowed this property to be so valuable. That allowed this property to be so valuable. For a rezoning. For rezoning and by changing the terms of the lease. And by changing the terms of the lease. This is city owned land. This is city owned land. It belongs to us. It belongs to us. But the city decided. But, but the city decided that the new developer that the new developer could build whatever he wanted on it. Could build whatever he wanted on it. So eventually, so eventually it will be luxury housing. It will be luxury housing. With none of the independent retailers, with none of the independent retailers who got kicked out, who got, got kicked out, out. over a hundred jobs, over a hundred jobs, thirty businesses, thirty businesses evicted, evicted, no relocation assistance, no, no relocation assistance, and the city stepped in with a major bailout. They bailed out this developer. They bailed out this developer. So there's a safety net for developers, but there's no safety net for all the people. But there's no safety net for all the people that are displaced, that are displaced by developments like this. Three, four, the 99%.